ngera te Māori kei te kaupo te rangi kei ki te hio maunga ki e ki e. Māori atua he Māori te pota Māori kei au kei tēnei uri. Atu ki taha matau ko rongo ki taha maui. Me kauhanga he putanga puta Māori tēnei kātau. Ki o mātou kānga, ki o tātou kāinga, a ki tēnei kaupapa. He Māori tū, he Māori āio, he Māori ora kā ora. Puta ki te whai ao, ki te ao mā rā mā. Whānō, whānō, hara mai te toki. Hau i e, hui i e, tāi i e. Tēnei au ko te uri o manu manu ko tāi tanga atuki. He matākahi, he manu kahe kāhika. I au hui mai te kohanga tapu tapu āti, te whari o te manu kei te whari kura manu kapua. Tēnei au te hoatu nei hokai a wai whanāringa. Hiko i a te whetū, hiko i a te marama ki te whai ao, ki te ao marama whānō, whānō. Hara mai te toki, hau i e, hui e, tāi ki e. E ngā mate, hae he, hae re mua i te tirohanga ngā iwi ko mahue iho nei. Ki tāo tūrua, hae re, hae re ki manua kore. E ngā uri o tukuriri, ngā uri o manu manu, ngā uri haumoi wārangi. Hara mai, hara mai ki tēnei kōrero, ki tēnei rukau, ki ngā kōrero ngā tūpuna. Ia hai, ki te whakapakari a tātou i mui te kōti teitei, te tāngā tū i ngā marama kutatu nei a tērā marama. Nō reira, te ngā uri a tēnā koutou, a tēnā koutou haramai. Ka huri aku mihi ki te pai kōrero nei, ki a koe e mākere te uri i paora kāwhiru, nau mai, tēnā koe. Ki a koe i te uri Pairama Ngūtahe, Rango, i te kura, tēnā koe. I mihi atu ki a koe i te uri o te kawai, e hoepa, e au kiwhanau ngā katoa, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Kia ora. E te whānau, it is my great honour and privilege to facilitate a kōrero here tonight. Uh, and we will be diving into some of our kōrero and our, kapapa, our connections to other iwi over the next three weeks uh, in readiness as we, as we prepare. Uh, to head to the High Court uh, at Te Ruroa, uh, here in Auckland uh, to have our case uh, to question the Crown's uh, offer of lands, our lands, uh, to other iwi uh, from other parts of the motu. So whānau, it's nearly three centuries since Tupiriri, his wives, Hine Te Wairua, and Kūrerua secured our mana whenua in Tāmaki, along with their sons Tumaure, Pai Whenua, Te Whakaariki, Tara Hawaiki, who established villages, Awahika, on the Manukau and the Waitamata. Since then, we have faced intergenerational challenges to that Ahika, our standing as Tangata Whenua, not least of all from the north, the southeast, and in recent times, from the south. Each time, whānau, we have stood strong seen off each and every challenge to those who would also seek to call themselves mana whenua in central Auckland. We stand again in the face of a challenge, this time supported by the Crown, from the tribes of the Thames, Hauraki and Coromandel. On the back of a Waitangi Tribunal hearing in 2006 that wrongly concluded all layers of interest are valid, the Crown <coughs> has been duped into offering to the Thames tribes, who collectively call themselves Marutuahu for their claims in Auckland, certain whenua in our heartland. These lands include Tauradua at Judges Bay and Waipapa in Pānau. These pā and kāinga of our tūpuna are on our doorstep in our heartland. These lands are, as Takawa would say, our heart's blood. Whilst we agreed to share the maunga and an RFR across the wider Auckland region so all the tribes could kickstart their settlement journeys, we have never, and we will never agree, that individual tribes can have whenua from our heartland on the basis of claim mana whenua or ahika equal to ours. This is fundamentally wrong that multiple iwi can have the same mana over one place. On February 9, after seven years of obstruction and conniving by the Crown, we will have our, our day in the High Court to challenge the legality of proposed transfers of Waipapa and Taurarua to Marutuahu. We say the proposed transfers to Marutuahu breach our tikanga general principles of tikanga Māori in relation to whenua. It will breach our own settlement legislation passed in Parliament in 2012 and therefore break the law. In short, 
our tikanga, the tikanga Māori were applied, then the law uh, would be broken uh, if these are, lands are transferred. So whānau, we are not alone in this fight. We have had many cheering us on around the motu. In court supporting us are uh, Ngai Te Rangi from Tauranga Moana, who are suffering similar issues with the same group of people. Ngāti Kuri were with us in the Supreme Court also. Ngāti Pāwa Emi Trust, uh, who we absolutely acknowledge are the mana whenua at Tauranga in East Auckland, Tainua, Mokoia, Māori Māna, and large parts of the North Shore are also with us on our side. So please join us tonight and for the next three weeks to hear the story of our tupuna and why we need to stand united again in the face of another challenge uh, to our tangata whenua status uh, here in Tamaki. I'm joined uh, tonight here by um, Margaret Kafaru, Tukura, uh, and Pohepa Ihema also. Um, so we'll be here for the next hour of whānau. Um, we will cover uh, a lot of ground, and um, I think we'll just um, jump straight into it. Tapai tēnā. Kia ora. Kia ora. Kia So um, where I wanted to start with tonight is really <coughs> who we are and, and where we're from, so uh, the origins of, of Ngāti Whaitū. Um, so te kura, uh, ke a koe tēnei, tēnei wāhanga. Yahu mai uh, ngā tūpuna Ngāti Whaitū i here. Where, where have we come from? Ta pai. He nui ngā kāwai. Te wāhanga kia tumutumu whenua, ko tākei te whenua, ko waiho ki a hoi pahe a koru. <coughs> ngā waka e whai pānga nei tātou uh, ko kura hau pō tērā tāki tumu tērā uh, Engari ko te waka matua o māhuhu ki te rangi Haere mai Hawaiki <coughs> uh, Nā te ahai haere mai uh, e tautohe nā i wāinga nui te tuakana me te teina ko rongo mai tērā te tuakana uh, ko rongo atu tērā ko te teina uh, kāore i tau uh, te ahuatanga o tā rāua mahitahi ki tā rāua mārakai, te pari o tēnā tēnā o tā mārakai, uh, nā, ngā tautohe, nei timatū ngā kā whakāro, uh, rongo mai, me wehe, uh, ka hare mai ki Aotearoa. Uh, huri atu ia ki tāna pāpā, ki a whakatau pōtiki, uh, a whakatau pōtiki heke mai i te tupuna nui nei i a uh, tāwhaki nui āhema, nā tāwhaki nui āhema, uh, ko wahi e roa, nā ana ko rāta, nā ana ko tū whakararo, nā tū whakararo, kā puta mai, ko whakatau pōtiki. Nā ana te waka, ko māhu ki te rangi hahau, uh, kapiki uh, teiwi ki runga, nā ko, uh, ko te tohunga tērā ko whakatau, uh, ko te kaihau tū, ko tāna tama, ko, ko rongo mai, kā re mai ki Aotea roa. Uh, uh, he nui te kōrero, nga re te mutunga, kā tau ki roto o kaipara, ki tāpara pora. Uh, nā ka whakatūri a te, te wānanga ki reina, te ingo hoki o te wāhi i tāpara pora rā ko manu kapua. A tū te whare wānanga uh, ka moe a rongo mai ki tāna wahine ki a takarita no te, te tini o toi. Uh, ka pū hai hai ngā tūngane o takarita ki aia. I aia hi i kāna uh, ko rātou tērā i krakia. Uh, ka tahuri te waka o rongo mai, ka pāremo, ara, ka toromi, uh, nā ko te matenga tērā o rongo mai. Ka <coughs> wehe, ka hiki, hiki papa uh, tō tāua iwi, mai tā poropora, ka hoki, piki anō ki runga o māhuhu, ka hare ki muri whenua, ka noho uh, ki ngā takiwa o rangaunu, uh, o whatififi, Toke rau uh, o kaitaia, uh, ka, ka tuputupu uh, te iwi ki reira, nā, uh, nā rongo mai, uh, ko kaputa, uh, ko māwete, uh, nā māwete kaputa ko tikiwharawhara. Uh, ka moe a tikiwharawhara i te, tēnei wahine, uh, i uh, whatu tāhai e kōtiro, Nā pōhurihanga, pōhurihanga, rangatiro o kora haupo. Nā, ko te moinga, omonga tērā o e rā waka e rua. Nā, ka puta mai, uh, ko rere wā. Uh, 
as a younger brother, um, I can appreciate the quarrels that one has with the, the older brothers uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, the reasons perhaps that the, they, they split with the older brother, Rungamai, coming, uh, coming to Aotearoa. And, uh, so really, uh, Rungamai being the one that, um, well, Whakatau Kotiki, his father, uh, fashioning the waka, and both of them bringing uh, many of our tupuna uh, from, from Hawaii. Uh, and so we're really um, around um, Taitokera, Muri Whenua, is really, our, I guess, our origins when we, when we start um, here, in, here in Aotearoa, in Kaipara. Um, so, Huepa, e, he kōrero hei tāpuri ake ki tēnā? Yeah, um, if you go back to Hawaii, back to the, the beginning of uh, Te Kura's uh, Whakapapa, uh, we arrived at Tawhaki Nui Ahima. Uh, who was a, uh, I suppose you too, but he was a, um, a tupua <coughs> and had um, hard cold status. Yeah. And uh, that gives us a direct link into that um, celestial um, realm. And so, Tafaki Noyahima, you come down uh, through uh, to Wahirua. Rata, Rata is well known for uh, uh, forgetting to give the karakia, which, um, mm. uh, which brought the uh, uh, the different karate here to again remind him of Tikanga and then to Whakararo is remembered as a toa of the Waiki. We get to the son of Tufakararo, Whakatau Pōtiki, who's actually um, from my own um, research and kōrero that I've come across over the years. He's actually been talked about and recounted in a lot of iwi uh, narrative. Uh, if you go into the Taimi Whakapapa Māwai Ito, Māku Ito, Mā Whakatau Ito, if you go into the uh, Horauta Karakia, and so um, Whakatau was well known. Uh, Whakatau was an engineer. Uh, Whakatau was a, uh, a builder. And Whakatau was a tohunga. And not forgetting that Whakatau had um, supernatural beginnings. Cool. And that he was um, a child that was brought up by, uh, by uh, his tupuna underneath the water. And so he had different powers and energies about him. So there's a, a, a beginnings that, that, that we as an Ati Tāpua, we already link into uh, with our uh, our atua, with our tupua kōrero. Uh, we come through very um, Te Rōmai, the brother that's been spoken about. Um, and then that line uh, where uh, Te Kura just talked about Mā Wete, Te Ki Whara Whara, the uh, wā leads us into, I suppose, um, some of our tupuna who are really you know, walking about the whenua uh, in the Hokiana Kaihu area. And uh, we get down to people like Manu Manu. Mm. And so Manu Manu will leave him there uh, because Manu Manu is the uh, prominent ancestor that you can bring down from that uh, Hawaiian uh, line. Let's go over to uh, Tumutumu Whenua. And mostly we have uh, narratives which give a, uh, a tangata whenua link, a tūturu link to the, to the earth. Uh, two who have their kōrero, tēnebu kōhura. We have our kōrero with Tumutumu Whenua. And so Tumutumu Whenua came out of the earth, as we know, through the different writings and narratives, uh, particularly uh, by Rotu Haere. And from there we have, um, he got together with Kuwi, one of his wives. And so we already have a natural um, setting there, uh, where you have uh, Taniwha Tupua, marrying with Taniwha Tupua, that there's just this whole realm, uh, which takes you back to what the Aboriginals call dream time. And so there is no um, there is no human dimension to it. Uh, these are these are tupu. And um, as you come down the line uh, through Naingai, uh, Naingai Tarepo, and then to Mayaroa, that's where you get that first great coming together of the Tumutumu Whenua line and that Hawaii and Mahuhu Kitarangi line, where Manu Manu one uh, marries Mayaroa, they get together, and then there's a um, I suppose four children who are very prominent. I won't, I'll, I'll throw it back to you. We can come back to those later if you like. Uh, but we have uh, the likes of Naingai Tuarua, number two. We have Manu Manu Tuarua, who <coughs> uh, unfortunately didn't have any children but um, left this beautiful uh, name in um, 
and Korurua around uh, uh, why Te Rorua have a name, Te Rorua. Um, we have uh, Pepetaha and Peperoto. And so us as, um, as Ngāti Whātua, uh, we fuck up strongly to three of them, all three of those in Eruri. And um, again, it just really locks in this um, historical narrative and accounts that we have that uh, not only do we come from Hawaii and those stories are very clear, uh, we've even got dimensions of the waka and, um, and how uh, Whakatau Kōtiki went around, around constructing the waka um, right through to these corridor homegrown here from Muri Whenua with Tumutumu Whenua. So we've got illustrious um, origin corridor that we can always harken back to and give us, um, I think, pride and instill our people and our mokopuna uh, with uh, a sense of who they are. So those are early whakapapa, um, pre our occupations into the Kaipara area. So we may go back to uh, explore Manu Manu and Te Roroa and, and what those connections are again. Um, but Margaret, if I can, you know, you've spent many years working on the Kaipara claims and uh, living in the Kaipara as well. Um, maybe you could talk a little bit about Tapura Pura and um, sort of those places around the Kaipara that you're familiar with. I remember Uncle Doc always used to talk about Tapura Pura as being really the centre of Ngāti Whātua and, <clears throat> and well known for uh, the Wānanga that was supposed to have been there. Um, and then, of course, <clears throat> when um, Rongomone was drowned, I think they, um, his son and the, the rest of them who had married in there went back up to Muri Whenua and so kind of departed Tapura Pura uh, in a sense. Um, <clears throat> um, it's also washed away in a Yes, I was thinking storm. about the shaving off. Mm. Um, I think that's Mama Kapua that you mentioned, wasn't mm. it, that was, that, that was shaving off. And I'm not sure that Ngāti Whātua has ever really reclaimed that in the old way that we remember it. And with Rongomai also, um, obviously a master navigator, but he was no match for the Kaipara Harbour. No, and the other thing about Tapura Pura, I think, is um, the visitation uh, of um, uh, Karu Matamoimo, of course, and um, Taramanuku, and Ihenga also, and the naming of Kaipara because of the eating of the king fern root. Mm -hmm that Karamata Moimoe enjoyed so much that he, he named it Kaipara. Yep. So that's where we take that from, I think. That's, that's yep. what we do. Um, so we're allowed to eat the para, but we're not allowed to eat the ara. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the, no, that's right. And the, and it's also the, the, the delicacy of the king there. So. I just want to add to that too, regarding the Rungomai Kōruru and his drowning. Um, having spoken to uh, our Tohunga Tarai Waka and Muri Whenua uh, here in the Eruera, <coughs> he, um, he, he, through his own um, learnings and, and, and research, uh, they've, they've found a uh, regarding the actual meterage of the, um, the different parts of Mahu. And, uh, and I questioned him on it. I said, well, uh, what was the, uh, the, the, the type of, of waka, it was a haurua, but you know, I mean, what were the dimensions and whatnot, and he talked about it, and it became very evident that um, <coughs> e aiki ana kōruru, e waka huri huri, e waka huri huri tēnei waka mahuru ki tarangi, and that meant that um, because of the, um, the fact that there may not have been a long enough tree uh, to set the outrigger, is that it was actually prone in really bad conditions to possible flipping. Now, when we talked about uh, Kaipara or Tāporopora, uh, Moana Takahuri Waka Whakarere Wahine, and he said Koyara, is that it actually flipped, uh, the, the mahu who flipped, uh, hence uh, the drowning of, uh, hence the drowning of uh, Rongomai. Because I said to him, but Waka Hudua don't flip it, and he just said, well, unfortunately, mahu who had a little bit of a, uh, 
let's say, a, a marine weakness to it. <clears throat> yeah. It's pretty treacherous at the mouth of the Kaipara Harbour, we say. Nā, ko rongo mai te tangata tuatahi i pāremo toromi ki te Kaipara, kāpata te kōrero rā, tāpora pora, whakataguri waka, whakarere wāhimi. Nā, i te rānei, ka ki ngā mātua, Kaipara mō ngā tāguri waka, whakarere wāhimi. Nā, ia whakatupuranga, ia whakatupuranga, ia whakatupuranga, mai ia rongo mai he keino. Uh, he, he waka i tahuri, uh, mm. he tāngata i mate. Uh, ka riro mā ngā wāhimi, uh, ngā tamarihi, te whānau, e whakatua rā, e whakatupu, uh, nā, nō reira e rua ngā wāhanga o roto i tērā kōrero tuatahi, e kōrero mō te mōrere o te moana, uh, kā riro te, te, te tangata, kā riro te tāne, uh, kā tahi tua rua, e kōrero nō mō te toa me te pakari o ngā wāhine o ngā te whātua, ki te pupuri i te whānau. Yeah. Um, so we're in the Rimuri Whenua, um, we have the Whakarapo is, is Jerry um, outlined. Um, kind of around the Kaihu Valley, what, what starts happening happening around there with our Tupuna? Well, <clears throat> there is some migration over over many generations yeah. from Muri Whenua, and there are reasons why they're moving out of the Muri Whenua. Okay. And uh, we're talking uh, in and around the time. Um, <clears throat> That you get the Maiarua and Manu Manu uh, collectives coming together. And so <clears throat> we're still coming around down through Hokianga and making their way over into the Mamaku uh, Valley. And uh, these are treacherous times. Uh, these are all kind of new peoples to the land. And so they're trying to establish their own mana and rights to different parts of, um, of the land and sea. Uh, however, we do get <clears throat> uh, a number of generations passing. Uh, and whether it was because of a murder or, or because of a, 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 a want to discover new places, new resources, they've moved and they've amalgamated with different uh, peoples and they've started to become these distinct uh, entities, uh, if you like. And then you get these names coming up, uh, Ngai Tukutupu, uh, Ngāti Rangi, <coughs> uh, who bring in the the land-based people who are coming out of the Muri Whenua. Uh, you're also getting these, um, uh, the Ngai Tamatea people who are actually uh, resembling pretty much the, uh, the Mahuru Kitarangi uh, Tātai and Whakapapa. And so we get these people generally meeting in and around the, uh, the Waipoua and then moving through the Waipoua over into uh, the, uh, the Kaibu Valley. The Kaibu Valley is lush, it's got a beautiful uh, river that runs through it. And so there's plenty of resources. So we say uh, the kaihu is almost what you'd call the cradle of what we are now, Ngāti Whātua, because that's really where for maybe two or three generations anyway, they were happy to stay there and to make their homes and to make alliances with other people, um, you know, on the outer districts of the kaihu. Uh, Jump in if you uh, if you want to. And so we're getting into the uh, the times now of uh, the children of Manu Manu, or probably the next couple of generations. And so let's just take one line. Uh, we'll take <coughs> uh, Manu Manu marries Mayawa, and one of the children uh, that we're very strongly connected to is Pepetaha. And so the Pepetaha and uh, Pepetaha Ruafiki line, we come down to uh, Kahuro marries Tutaki, who's another. I suppose northern um, Ngāti Rangi, but now we're getting into this group called, but we're distinctly starting to be called Ngāririki. Yep. And so uh, there's a Ngāririki group there, uh, and they're becoming quite quite distinct through the different marriages actually coming through. Uh, but the Kaihu Valley is really where a lot of the action is uh, in terms of um, these Ngāti Whātua, Tupuna, and their clans starting to form uh, their own distinct um, identity. Um, it, it goes without saying that uh, within the Kaihu Valley, it did become, um, let's say, uh, quite highly populated and dense. And so, <clears throat> take for instance, uh, you've got the, um, you've got uh, a man called Tenganaya, uh, who's actually uh, 
uh, one of the, the leaders of the, uh, the Ngāri Riki people uh, who have become, um, you know, fairly established in the Kaihu Valley. And they've started to, you know, really discover um, how to grow, how to grow different kai, the kumara, the taro, the ufi, all these different kai. Now, down on the peninsula at Poto, you've got another group of people who are situated around Homoi Warangi and his brothers. And, um, and they've got Takitibu Whakapapa. They come out of, uh, they come out of Ngākuhi Whakapapa. And they're a very distinct group over there. Well, Papa Ponamu, the older brother of Homoi Warangi, reports back to Homoi Warangi that, hey, there are people up in Kaihu who have an abundance of kai. You know, why can we not grow kumara here? Why do we not have the ability? So it was simple. Kaimui Warangi said, let's go and take the kai and take the land. And so this is now the beginnings, or not the beginnings, but it's just an amplification of the aggression that's starting to build in the Kaihu area, in the northern Wairua area. Um, there's, that's the story that leads us into the beginnings of Te Tau. Maybe we leave that for now. Um, I think we'll, we'll jump straight into that. Okay. Now, so to put a, yeah. a springing forth of Te Tau from that event, um, you know, that, that changed history for all of us. Um, really, we're Te Tau here in Tamaki. And to think for a lot of our whanaunga tonight hearing that, well, actually, this all begun uh, right up there in the, in the Kaihu Valley, um, you know, could be um, you know, a very new thing to them. So maybe you want to just explain a little bit about that event and where, where it ends up down on the Kia ora. Peninsula. Yep. Hi te tuapapa o takotau mia hōhepa. Um, ai, he kumara, he ufi, he taro, ngā kai o te wahira, i te wahanga ki a te nganai a moa. Ka hare a te hau moe wārangi moa, ki reira, ka pakanga ki te hungana. Uh, ka o moa, a uh, te nganai. Uh, I te pō, e noho atua nei a uh, e ngā taha, taha taha o tū tāmo, uh, e kāna te ahi. Nga ka mō hiu a hau moe wārangi moa, ara, ara te, te nganai. Ka hare atu, te tāinga, uh, e takotoana a uh, te nganai e moe ana, e ngongoro ana teihu, a uh, e noho ana i raro i te, i te kahukuri, Kahutokuni, na kapatua a uh, te nganai e reira kāma te kaoma ngā tama ki mau ngā nui, uh, i te mutu ngā kāmoe ngā tama ki roto uh, o uh, ngā tirangi e kōrongi ane. Yeah. Uh, hoino, uh, uh, he nui ngā pakanga i te rāwa, pakanga tuana, pakanga mai ana. A e, e hinga nā te iwi o te nganai o, e hinga nā ngā tirangi i e tahiwa, i e tahiwa a hinga nā hau moe wārangi mā. A he roa te mea nei, i te mutunga, nā, nā, te, nā te nganai a, nā ko toha ki rangi, nā toha ki rangi ko matu a hoa. E, nā, e, a, e rua ngā tama i kona, e, ko te Tokorua nei uh, ko, ko kau te awha o e te tuarua. Wino, ka tohu tohu a tēnei tokorua ki te rānaki i whakatupuri a kau te awha uh, me tana kaihanga e tama te tokorua nei whakatupuri a kia toa. Ko te mahi mā rāua, he rānaki te mate tō rāua tupuna o te nganāia. Nā kā pakeke te hunga nei, uh, kā tahi ka, ka pakanga atu i kia uh, ki, uh, ki hau moe wārangi mā. Kā tahi ki tēnei wā, ko hau moe wārangi, kua mateke. Kua mateke. Kā tū te pakanga nei, uh, e rua ngā mate nui i roto i tēnei pakanga. Uh, nā tau, uh, tautara i te, te, te taha ki te iwi o hau moe wārangi, Nā tautara a kairewa i patu, a mate a kairewa. Ka whānau mai tēnei ngoa Ngāti Manawa i reira. Nā, ka patu a kau te awha e, i a tautara. A, 
he mea wero uh, te uma ki te tau, a whānau mai te ingoa nei te tau. Uh, nga ka mau te rā ingoa ki runga eh, i te tahi wāhanga o ngā ririki. Uh, nga kei a jau uh, ngā whakapapa. Uh, engari, kui a te tīmatanga o te rā ingoa. Te ingoa te tau i tīmata i kai hū. Me te ingoa ngā tirango i tīmata i kai hū. Uh, eh, he nui te ingoa hapū eh, i whānau katoa mai reira te roroa nō e rāwa. Uh, uh, nō mua ta tātou. Uh, tai noa kia te uri a hau. Whānau katoa mai ana e ne ingoa i e rāwa. It seems to be that there were two general um, groupings that were fighting at that time. Uh, you've got the, the Ngāti Rangi, who, who was seemingly really supportive of the, uh, the Ngāri Riki people at different times, and then they were turning on each other at other times, but there seemed to be a general collective that were fighting against the people of Homui Warangi. This is over successive generations. And so you've got uh, Tenganaya dying and being killed by Homui Warangi as Te Kura's pointed out, and Mahu, <coughs> who's a, uh, a tamaiti of um, Pinef, uh, he's a brother of uh, Tarawamo, Whakatika Mai Mena Kaitehi, uh, but you've got Mahu raising an army and going over and fighting uh, Homoi Wairangi's people as well. And so there's this, again, an amplification of, of warfare in the, the Kaihu area, and um, what we get out of it in terms of who we are is we get a very clear narrative on where the origins of Te Tau as a name come from. And so it comes out of that, uh, the killing of Tautara uh, by Kau Te Awha, uh, who I think is a, um, the son of uh, Whako Tirangi. Ah, tēnā koe. Uh, Whako Tirangi. Yeah. Uh, so Whako Tirangi and uh, Tohaki Rangi, uh, Tuakana Taina, <coughs> he wahine. And so their kids have been obviously encouraged to go and get revenge for their grandfather. Mm. And so you've got a couple of generations later, Takototonu ana tērā, mamai. And so they've gone out to uh, get the revenge. But it doesn't end there <coughs> uh, because you get retaliations and then there is a, uh, there becomes a, uh, a need uh, to venture forth into the kaupara and expand. Um, and one of the reasons is because you've got the rise of toa and uh, his people are starting to uh, really do some damage uh, in and around the, uh, the northern Wairua area. And it's affecting everybody. It's affecting the people of Ho. It's now affecting um, some of the, uh, the marriages between Homuiwara and his grandchildren and uh, Tinganaya's grandchildren. They're all getting pressured uh, by these, uh, these other uh, people up in the Kaihu, Maunganui area, actually. And so, um, we get this expansion out into the Kaipara. Uh, but just to reiterate very quickly, um, so we've got uh, uh, Tinganaya who's killed, uh, we'll follow down Tohakirangi, and then Tohakirangi uh, has Matua Ahuaho. Now, we have two children from Matua Ahuaho that are really important to talk about. Um, the, the one is the boy Tarapakihi, or the Tukuna Tarapakihi, and the other is Rangahau Hewahine. <coughs> These are key. Uh, because Rangahau and uh, Tarapakihi, uh, they really become core and key to the Te Tau bloodline moving into turbidity and that generation. So we've got uh, Tarapakihi, uh, he will marry um, Pāwhiro, and Pāwhiro um, and Tarapakihi have uh, Hukatere, and uh, that's the father of turbidity. You go back to Rangahaua, the sister, she marries Tumu Pakihi. And Tumu Pakihi and Rangahaua, they have Wahaakiaki. So now we're starting to get the names that we, uh, we know uh, in terms of immediate, um, you know, histories. Uh, so at the time of uh, Tarapakihi, uh, that generation, we've heard Maunga Nui, um, there's Tuta Moe, we haven't talked about Tukatoka, but that northern Wairua down to uh, coming home way we're down the peninsula now. Mm. 
looking for, and it's still more yeah. more trouble and stress and then this generation Taramaki. So we've kind of jumped a couple of generations in terms of narrative. Um, what we've got to do is we've got to just take it up one or two generations to a layer of um, real toa. Uh, these were really uh, brave, courageous men and warriors who, who actually um, were the leaders of the expansion out of the Kaihu um, through the two waka, uh, which I'll get uh, to Kura to talk about. Uh, but you've got that expansion through uh, these chiefs. And, and, and in that expansion, you've got um, people like Tumu Pakihi. You've got Hukatere, who's probably a younger warrior at that time, uh, who are involved. And so, yes, we've got the expansion out of Kaihu into the upper reaches and central parts of Kaipara. Uh, and that's happening right now in the whakapapa that we're talking about with Tumu Pakihi, Tara Pakihi, uh, you've got Pafiro, but at that time too you've got other people who are alive, uh, which I'll leave to Te Kura to talk about. These are the real toa uh, who make the, uh, oh, well, I suppose, they're the faces of our collective Ngāti Whātua people at the moment. Perhaps then, um, Homoi Warangi, the 1650, mm. he's murdered. More happens and leads to other things, in particular, particularly with Kafuru. Uh, yeah, his, his daughter, or his first wife's daughter, Mama Teipu, had come down, going back to Waikato. And on her way back home, she had stopped along where Matiawa were planting and stopped at the wrong time. And they stripped her. So when she got home, of course, this upset her more Wawangi. No, Rangi, Rangi Teipu. Daughter of Daughter of First wife of Homo Warangi. She went so, across to the south of the yes, She was on her way south to the south. Bumped into Ngatiawa, yeah. Matatua people who were then living there. Yeah, okay. They were there. They were, Ngatiawa were, were very big in that area. I mean, they had also had migrated from the north mm. and come down into the Kaipara, but they are very um, much in evidence on the south head their power sites. So they were very much there before Ngāti Whātua came down that way. And so this was an insult, of course, to his daughter. And um, he came down to see really what had gone on and brought his sons. And they, um, well, they ended up with their various accounts, but it's, it's there that um, they wanted to plunder and take the food, and the sons refused to take the food. Perhaps there was some jealousy amongst the, the siblings and this eldest daughter. Uh, so they refused to take the food, and they left. And then Homo Warangi and I think Amitepu were both killed. So, so it was several generations before younger men like Tumu Pākehi came back to South Kaipara to avenge the death of Homo Wārangi. But in, as you mentioned also, Kaipara had been brought in um, presumably by Waiwaikura or some, you know, to to avenge this, this happening as well. And uh, his sister came, they came from Aotea, from Rag uh, Raglan Kāwhia that way, and they came to the aid of Ngāti Whātua. Um, and they left their mark. Kāwhiru particularly left his mark all around South Kaipara. And in fact, the names on the landscape, um, like Te Tomoka Ngā A Kāwhiru, At Motoremu, uh, Takuwai or Kāwhiru, mm. all the sand dune lakes on the South Head, so a lot, and, and further into Tāmaki as well, of course. But um, so he left his mark, but he was also killed at Waihurunga. His, his sister, Kohari, had married um, Te Rāwhara, I think his name was, Kaugaro, um, and he, he went to visit his sister, but he was set upon and killed. So, so, so Ngāti Whātua had quite a bit to avenge by the time they've, they've, they, they got themselves together, uh, probably 20, 30 years perhaps even by the time they came back down again. 
but when they came, of course, they, they came very purposefully. There's a nice little segue there too, because Wai Wai Kura, uh, the first wife of Pai Wara, you know where I'm going with this, um, they have um, Rangi Tepu, Rangi Tepu marries Tarakiti, uh, son of um, Ihina, and uh, then you've got uh, Tupupaki. And so you've, again, you've got different lines that are being brought down in different ways, which consolidates the Haumoiwarangi lines, which are quite different from the Waihikiao lines, uh, but you're bringing in this Haumoiwarangi Rangitipu line, Ngaiwi, uh, and it's just consolidating all of these different sides of the those peoples that were once living in Kaihu. Mm. So it's good a, a decision to uh, this generation of Toa that um, Joe talked about deciding to avenge the deaths of, of Homoe Warangi, the insult to his daughter Rangi Tipu and others, uh, and expanding from North Kaipara into South Kaipara. Talk to us a bit about, about that. Mm. How happened and who? Yeah, uh, ngā moko pūrewe nei o Homoe Warangi, ko hakiriri bāka, uh, ko pautapu aka mā, ko te ate ākura mā, ko uh, uh, tumupaki i mā, mm. uh, he toko maha rātou. Uh, tō rātou tupuranga, he, uh, he, he whakatupuranga toa. Whakatupuri a rātou ki a Spartan. He Spartan te rāho, polo, toko iti, engari tino, Nā katai ki te wā, uh, uh, hāra ki Tangihua. Uh, ka tuaina e rua ngā rākau, uh, ha hautia mai ngā waka, uh, ka tapaina ki ngā ingoa. Nā ko uh, te wharau te tahi, nā ko te pōtai o wāhi a rua te tahi. Nā ko iwi nei ko ngā waka e rua. Nā ko te... Wakataua. Ai, wakataua. Wakataua, nā ko te... Uh, ko te tangata matua, uh, i runga o uh, te wharau o tumupakihi. Uh, me te tāu i runga i te rāwaka. Wahaki aki is tāna. Koe tēnā, te mihi ngā mā. Uh, nā, ka huri mai ki te pōtai o wāhe roa, uh, ko ngā te whātua mā e rā. Uh, e rā mō mō kārāra, nā ko pautapoaka, ko te ate ākura mā uh, i runga i te rāwaka. Uh, Hare mai ngā waka, e ruara, me ona tāngata, uh, ka tai ki tēnei taha o te kaipara, <coughs> o kāka te kawau uh, maere tahi Aotea, Aotea Shelly Beach. Ka tai ki waho, o, uh, ki waho mai o Otaka Nimi, uh, me uh, Kaikai. Uh, Otaka Nimi Haranui, Kaikai Mount Rex. Helen's Hall, Te Awaroa. Uh, nā kā i reira, kā wehe, te taua. Kā whakaeke atu, nā te pōtai uh, o wāhe roa, ko pauta pōkama, ki o takanini, ki e rā pā o te rā takiwa, uh, ko te wharau, uh, i raro i a tumupakehi ba, hakiriri ba, uh, ka kōkiri atu ki kaikai, Mount Rex, ka whai te awa o te awaroa, ki ngā tini pā o tērā awa, ki o tamatea nui, uh, te horo, uh, te mākiri, uh, ah, nā. Ka hinga katoa, ngā pā, i e taho, horo ngā pā. It was very much about taking taking the land at that point. They, and they divided, as Te Kura has said, they divided the land. And this is this is spelt out very clearly in the Otakanini land court minutes later on where they tell retell these stories or this history so that Ngatifatua Tuturu as they called themselves in time went from and with Potapoaka went uh, down to Paparoma I think so mostly South Head that way and Tumupakehi went into Tamakiri, Te Awaroa and down the Awaroa and that way past where we know um, Riwiti is now, and actually kept going too to the upper Waitamata eventually. So it was uh, Koti Koti, the land. Mm. Koti Koti Te mm. Koti Koti Te Whenua. And, and, and they pushed, they pushed 
the um, the kaurau who were there predominantly by that time, um, they pushed them further south um, into the Waitakere area more, and I guess some Waiohua um, pushed them further back, um, and and married some too. Mm. So there's the early people uh, on the east coast of the of the Kaipara mm. uh, who who. Um, Machifantua at Wongamai's time had married into, so they had also married in, 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 in earlier times, and then this the subsequent um, migration of Tumupakehi and Potapoaka and Ma coming down into the South Kaipa was the final um, uh, conquest and occupation really of the South Kaipara and established Machifantua in the South Kaipara. So we can Thank that generation, Tuma Pakehi, Tarapakehi, Hukatere, Hakariri. Um, just want to. Out the wild. 1700, Tero? Yes, around 1700, mm. I think. Yeah. Just want to talk about Potapuaka. 1680. Yeah, no, I think that's a bit late 1680. 1680. Yeah. By that time, yeah. The Potapuaka and Kawara and um, the Tau of the Fenora. That agreement. So yeah, they they did um, that, that, well. They but the end of it is that they did make a firmly bound peace named Te Taupaki, um, which is left on a block of land, which is a huge block of land. But Tidi Pa, which is on the west coast, south of Muri, what we know of as Muriwai now, that was where it was supposed to have been. Um, made, the peace made, but yes, you're right, Potapuaka, I think, was on his way to Hikurangi until Te Whenua said, where are you off to? And uh, he said, no, you stay on that side of the line, put the pole in the ground, um, and said, you stay there, and, and they agreed to that. So Kawaro was south of that line, and, and Nashifantu were north of it. Yeah, pretty much like that today. And and also, by that, I think, the, that that time, they were making these peace arrangements. They were making marriages, as we do, to, to make peace in time. And, um, and there are a number of places that carry the, the dogskin cloaks and so on in the name, where these gifts have been made in terms of peace, peacemaking. Cool. So we have uh, now that generation, they can rest, I guess, they've done a pretty amazing job to get us that far uh, into from North Kaipara to South Kaipara. Um, we have, I guess, what we probably figure now, uh, understand now is Tawurua around uh, uh, Maimanui and Kaihu, that area to the Ohau, pretty much around North Kaipara. Um, be fair to say, um, Ngati Manuhiri, who also had a connection into the Kaipara, they didn't go west, they kind of left by their own accord before we even turned up, actually, in my understanding, and we're over on the east coast, um, where pretty much they are these days. We haven't mentioned Maki. Maki was um, not Ngāti Whātua, but certainly came in and had a huge influence, and Manuhiri was one of his sons. So <clears throat> there is this intermarriage between Kauwero, the, the Maki's people, and, and Ngāti Whātua, for better or for worse. Mm. Mm. And another son, Ngāwhetu, Ngāwhetu. marries Moira Marunga. Daughter, granddaughter of Rangel. Married the mother daughter, daughter. and the daughter, I think. Yeah, yeah, daughter of Rangel. Yeah. And daughter, yeah. yeah. And Tony, too. So lots of. Yeah, lots so of lots of intermarriage. Of mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you've got to say that from a quantum point of view, most of, of us Ngati Fatuas have got Kawira of Amaki blood in us. Uh, wherever you look at it, um, particularly through the Ngati Fatu. Yeah, and whatnot, and then the the way with the Fenua, um, you know, um, even through the, the first son, um, Kawira, um, Tafia Kitarangi, you know, there's a lot of um, people in uh, South Kaipara who yep. took the Whakapapa. Absolutely. Uh, the Tafia Kitarangi took the, the, a lot of uh, the Haranui whanau. Yep. So, yeah, there's a, a, a lot of interrelationships and marriages and, and crossovers. But no doubt, at about 1700, the mana had shifted, shifted from Kawaro, um, the remnants of Mata to a Maori, 
two to Tau and South Kaipara and Atigamu uh, through the realm, North East Kaipara, Eastern Shores, Eastern Shores of, of the Kaipara, to the Oho, Ngati Tahinga, Ngai Tahuru, uh, Ngati Moku, these hapus of Ngati Whaatua. Um, pretty much around 1700, that's, that's pretty much where we all were. What was happening in Tamaki, I, I think about that, um, that generation of uh, Tumupakehima, we have um, Hua Kaiwaka, the, the great chief of, who pulled together all the hapu in the Tamaki Isthmus, or wider Tamaki Nakoda, uh, who made his pa at uh, the summit of Mana Fo. Uh, then he has his son, Ikamopo, uh, who was a noted um, diplomat, uh, as, as I understand it. Very good at maintaining good relationships amongst his own people, his own hapu, and on his, his borders. Um, but then we have the mantle of that leadership passing to the grandson of Hua, being Kiwi Tamaki. Um, and so I guess uh, that generation, Huka Tere Tumupake, they've, they've had their rest. Now now it's time for the, the next generation of Tua, uh, their sons, Tupiriri, Ma, Wahakaki Ma, Waitaheke. The events around that are really, you know, uh, I guess that next phase of, of, um, of, our, of, of our history and why, why we're here. Just to say to you that there was a vacuum, though, of leadership. Uh, we had all of those tour um, heading off to, what is it, their big final battle up in Ottawa. And so there were opportunities for other leaders to come through too, uh, to take over the mantle of the likes of the Pautapuakas and the... Uh, um, and those ones that went through Pukopoko uh, was another warrior that went through to Otago. And, um, you know, so when Po Tatuaka leaves the scene, uh, you've got the, the emergence of people like Tohia and South Kaipara. And so I think it's important to remember too is that there was a, um, a, a strong group of leadership mm. and then there was a almost instantly overnight there was a vacuum where, luckily enough, um, there were people that could step in pretty quickly, sons and laws, you know, sons um, and other people who, who were very quickly um, starting to fill the gap. We've got Ngāti uh, who are really, you know, becoming a, um, a well-known um, hapu and strong hapu with a fierce reputation over on the eastern shores of Kaipara. Um, so, you know, you've got, uh, I think, the established front, but there are some vacuums that are getting filled with new leadership. So. I think what I'm trying to get at is that mm. there wasn't a shortage of tour um, after that, uh, you know, that initial push into the South Kaipara. Even though you had that old guard going up and doing battle and not coming home uh, from the Hokianga, you've, you've pretty much got the next generation that is stepping up, which is, yeah, fantastic. So we only have um, five or so minutes left, and we could probably spend another hour on the next bit, which is, um, you know, the events around I guess we're pretty happy where we are. We've got all of the kaipara, Te Tinoa kaipara. Um, a beautiful place, uh, plenty of big snapper. Um, <laughs> the hot pools, we've got freshwater lakes, we can go surfing on the other side, Ngahere. Uh, it's all pretty cool. But um, uh, a, a huge event happens and there's a bit of friction uh, also maybe in the ranks that, that, that calls on Kiwi Tamaki uh, to come up to the kaipara. But we'll, Perhaps we'll finish tonight with just talking about way too water uh, and that major significant event. Maybe start with you, uh, Margaret. First. Sure. Um, so Kiwi Tamaki is the overlord in Tamaki, I believe, at the time, but obviously must be suffering a little from the pressure that Ngāti Whātu is bringing to bear north of him, perhaps. Um, certainly there have been skirmishes uh, with Waiohua and Kauwero, but Tumupakihi uh, ha has died um, and Kiwi Tamaki purports to come to Waituoro, uh, to the Uhuma no, that's ceremony. Near, that's this just before you hit Parakai Hot Pools, you hang around up up Four Dice four Road. Four Dice Road, and it's up towards the sand, sand dunes. Um, and so he, Kiwi Tamaki comes to this mourn, to purportedly mourn Tumupakihi with 200 men, and then they turn on Ngāti Whātua on this really solemn occasion. 
uh, and uh, they kill uh, many Ngāti Whātua, also to Mupaka, his son, Tapu Wai. Um, in that um, turmoil, um, Wahakiaki and Tupiriri and others escape, and they come away from Waituro and go down the ridge and make their way to Tamakiri, which is where uh, Tumupaki, he had first put um, Makawe, to the path of Tamakiri there. So they took refuge there, and so Kiwi Tamaki and his followers followed them and uh, came upon uh, Tupiriri's sister, Tahatahi, at Mimihanu, which was uh, off Tupua, what is now called Tupua School Road, I believe. So they, they found her hiding there, taking refuge, and they killed her. Um, and then he, Kiwi Tamaki turns up at Timakiri and finds Wahakiaki and says to him, challenges him, Tokoma e iriana i te rākau e tōtara i āhua. Your breastbone will hang from, from Maunga Kia Kia. Wahakiake replies, well, <laughs> apopo tokoma i iriana uh, i te pūriri a maunga ngū, which is where the, the ridge where the present day Helensville Cemetery is. So there was the challenge on both sides um, that set about a whole another series of events, shall we say. And, and I guess we know whose breastbone and how where because we're sitting here and Yes, that's right. But it took it took a little while, didn't it? Yeah. So that's a, there's another series of events to come. I don't know if you're going to carry the manage to. Maybe we'll finish with you, Takura, <laughs> and if you want to add uh, to those series of events, and then we'll um, close with a karaoke or paipewa. Tuma hata hua nga kono me te tika. Kare tapiri te nga te rangi ki pepa. Fakafano i te atu nga korero me te neke ki ki ngā kōriri mō te whakeke tūtahi ki mō tānaki. Well whānau, um, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we hope that you have taken a lot out of this. Um, you can keep diving back into this and uh, watch watch it again. Um, and you know, send, send it out to the whānau, send the links out um, so that, that whānau can all uh, listen to this, you know, in the car, or at the beach, wherever. We've all got the technology to, to be able to do this. So um, you'll have to come back next week, uh, same time, same place. And we'll hear, as could have said, uh, the next phase uh, of what happens following uh, this treacherous act of the killing uh, of uh, many people of our tūpuna attending uh, the tamihanga uh, of Tumupākehi. So um, come back, whānau. And uh, we hope to uh, see you again. And in the meantime, um, enjoy your summer break. Uh, but also, kawe ware ware. Uh, there are lots of kapahaka practices uh, that have all booked. Please look on Facebook. Uh, please look on your emails. All the dates are there. Learning the haka uh, waiata that we need to have for our hikoi on February 9th uh, as we head to the High Court. Uh, also, the waiata that we, we will uh, also used during uh, the 10 weeks of the, the court, but also uh, at our many whānau, hui and tangihanga uh, and events that we have uh, over here as well. So I uh, hope to see you again uh, all next week and we will hear uh, the next part of our story, which is uh, the invasion and then the occupation of, of Tāmaki. So that's all here for